Hi, and welcome back to Melamic Art. My name is Mickey, and today I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the M. Graham Landscape watercolor set. And um, I did some research on these guys, and apparently they've only been in doing this for about 25 years, I guess. Um, and there's a couple guys who were oil painters who were really interested in the Renaissance era and going back to doing making paints the old way. Um, so they decided to make um, paints, oil paints, I believe, in the beginning with walnut oil, I believe, and watercolors with honey. And they have a um, commitment to uh, be eco-friendly. So the honey is great because they don't use solvents. It's solvent-free paint. Um, let's see. And apparently the honey in watercolor, um, it helps the paint be smooth and controlled with your applications. Um, it increases the pigment um, concentrations and it helps the paint resist hardening and they, therefore you can activate it um, more easily and um, it also dilutes easily af even after months. So I was pretty excited to buy this set which is around $45, $40. For me that's pretty expensive. So um, and to have tubes this large. I usually buy the 5 mil tubes or whatever I can find. And these guys they sell sets that are about five they're, they're five different um, colors in a set and you have to kind of choose what sub sets they um, combine. Um, otherwise you're buying one of these for very expensive so best way to uh, get these and affordably is to get the sets. Um, so that's why I got this one and I'm going to run these through a few tests but first let's squeeze them out. Pretty excited. It's like the Rolls Royce of paints here. Sorry to anybody else but I'm putting um, this paint into tubes that, um, I'm sorry, pans that are magnetized that can go in my little magnet carrier, which is, is right here. So I'll probably be putting them there. And I'll give you a link to this below. This is the awesome little carrier. So there's a cerulean blue. The cerulean blue is PB36. And I'll go through all of that. Um, or maybe I'll do it now. This is sap green. Oop, make sure I've got it right here. It's beautiful sap green. I'm gonna make a mess. I just know that that honey is really sticky. Who knew honey, right? But makes sense. This is burnt umber. I'm filling them over full because they will dry eventually lower than that. I'm thinking. I don't know. These guys, I guess they stay wet longer. And this is Dioxazine Purple. Whoa! already bursting out of the tubes. I should be careful with that. That looks black, doesn't it? And the last one is yellow ochre. And I'm already making a mess. So, the Jewel Tones set is the one that is always sold out. And it's kind of the one I wanted, but this is the runner-up set that I was looking at. I mean, I want them all, but this is a good one. All right, there they go. Voila. All right, so I'm going to swatch them out. And... 
see here. So let's see. The cerulean blue, they say, is semi-opaque. And it's granulating. Granulating means that you'll see patterns in the paint. And it'll be a little less even, but a lot of artists do like that. Myself being one. It's beautiful. Next is the sap green. So oh, all of these have light fastener ratings of one, which is excellent, and the purple is even more excellent, apparently. Yeah. So here's the sap green, semi-transparent. I put a lot on there, so let's see. There's the black line. Yeah, I kind of overdid it with that one, didn't I? That's what happens when you work right from the tube. You get tons of color. And then this is the burnt umber. And this is semi-transparent. That one's not enough. I don't have a favorite brown. I kind of like to try to mix my own. But this is a good medium brown, this burnt umber here. And doxazine purple. I'm going to wet this a little bit so I can get it started. Can you see? Ooh, this is a dark purple. I think I have this already. Yeah, this is very, very transparent. So this would be um, very smooth. Um, what is my S for? Probably staining. Yeah, that's probably what it is. So this is supposed to be semi-transparent. It's very, very opaque to me. It's quite alright though. Ooh, this yellow ochre really stinks. I was wondering which one it was. It's fine. That's fine. Fine. Stinky. Must be something, the pigment in it that stinks. Anyway, so here we go. I wanted to um, also do a hot press paper test here. And then I wanted to do a little color graph because I'm totally geeking on this paint today. Goodness. This is the right side of the hot breath. <laughs> Green. 
with burnt umber. I get with a combine these colors, which would be great for a landscape. It's so dark. Stinky yellow ochre. So gooey. yellow out of that. So here's the hot press. And I'm going to pick up some of this. So I want to try, this is the first wash. I want to try to check for granulation after and apparently the opacity is pretty pretty spot on. They um, say this is semi-opaque. This is pretty transparent, although that's a little bit opaque to me too, but it's because I put such a big, thick layer on. I would consider all of these to be kind of semi-opaque, save for the dioxazine purple. But that's just me. All right, so I'm going to do this chart in a time lapse. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> I think I'm brewing a cold. And I'll see you after, right after. So yeah, it's been a long time since I've done a landscape. <laughs> so I tried to use cues from this to create this little landscape from these colors. Um, so here is the color chart. And let me get rid of that. And it gives you quite a nice little variety of uh, different tones that you can get from these five colors here. Um, not a lot. I was, I miss the red, kind of miss a red in there. So I wish there was a little bit of a, like a, I don't know, a Viridian or something, something a little warmer. Um, but all in all for the cold press paper, um, it gives nice, uh, granulation here. And for the hot press, um, it, it lays down pretty smooth. So um, depending which, on which paper you prefer, I'm just gonna compare. Let's see what have I got here. Soho Cerulean is really a lot more uh, green than um, Emigram. Let's see what else I can compare to. None of those. Um, let's see. So Turner's Sap Green is um, a lot more. Uh, of a warmer color. I think uh, M. Graham is a little bit cooler, which is good. Um, so let's see, the Dioxazine Violet is pretty similar. And the Burnt Umber, I would say the Turner's is just a little bit darker. But all in all, I mean, these are amazing colors. And I had a lot of fun 
and I will be using them and I will be collecting more M. Graham <laughs> paints as soon as I can get out of debt now <laughs> from spending all my money on paints for myself for Christmas. So. so here's this little guy and I guess he came out okay. So there you have it. There are, here's the review for M. Graham Landscape Watercolor Set. And um, hope you enjoyed this. If you um, did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review, time lapse, etc. Next video. Take care.